Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Monday the 20th of March 2023. It's late afternoon here, we're just about to hit evening and normally I play this game in the morning but it just wasn't there this morning, it didn't turn up. Uh, but it was not completely dead on arrival because it is here now. This is the game of Sudoku, the beginner level game, easy level game uh, in the Guardian which I normally call beginner's level. On a Monday, if you haven't played Sudoku before, you'll probably be able to play this game, uh, even though it's your first ever time playing the game, once you understand the rules. Uh, I see a very unscientific survey in The Guardian, N not a Guardian survey, but uh, uh, the results published in The Guardian, are that people are just as happy now as they were before COVID. So I have no idea if it's correct or not, and it's quite difficult to measure happiness, I would have thought, wouldn't you? But anyway, uh, I hope it is uh, uh, true. Um, we would like to see as many people uh, happy uh, as possible uh, for as long as possible. Right, so let's get on with the game without further ado, because we are well behind in today's schedule. You will see there are nine squares in this row across the top. And the second row down, you will see that there are nine squares. And you will find there are nine squares in every one of these rows. What do we do? We place digits one to nine in each of the squares. There are nine squares. There are nine digits. One to nine. Don't go to zero. There are the same thing we can apply to the columns. There are nine squares and we fit numbers one to nine in each of the squares. But wait, we have not finished yet. Look, in these nine small blocks uh, of three by three, we also do the same thing. We fit numbers one to nine. You can see, look, we have one, two, four, five, six, seven, and eight. It means that we have two squares and we can tell by logic which digits have to fit here because we have, what we don't have uh, in our set of one to nine are numbers three and number nine. We don't have digit three and we don't have number nine. Look, here's a completely blank uh, set here, excuse me. Here's a completely blank grid. So we don't have any digits here now, but let's come back because look, we only have two missing numbers and we know that they are three and nine. So in fact, when we look across here, we can see that we already have a three in this row. So we ask ourselves, can this be a three? And the answer has to be no, because there are only nine squares in the row, which means that each number can appear only once. It cannot be repeated. So this three blocks this square from becoming a three. And we can say that the three has to go there because that's the only other available slot. And now we have every number except nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this has to be nine. Now you could have actually said we had a nine blocking there, so the nine goes here, and then we could put a three there. It doesn't matter which way around you do it. Let's take that nine that we just placed and say, look, nine blocks across these rows here. We have another nine here blocking across this row here, and we have a nine blocking down this column. Do you see how they intersect? In blue, I've highlighted here. So in this particular block here, only this white square here, obviously we've already got a four here. Only this white square here can accommodate a nine. And so we know that the nine has to fit there. Let's take that nine that we just put in, which is often a thing that we do in Sudoku. Take the number that we've just inserted and we'll say, look, nine blocks down to the bottom here. And we have a nine up here that can block all the way down here. And now we have a nine over here that can block right the way across, do you see? And so now there's just one square where the nine can fit. Right, I hope you understand. That's how we play the game. We now have the basic idea of the logic involved in Sudoku. Let's take the three that we placed earlier. Here's one I prepared earlier. It's like a blue Peter or something like that. Three also blocks across here. And that will be a three that we fit there. That's the only possibility. Uh, now, across here, uh, we're looking at this row here and we can see what we're missing. We don't yet have digit one. We don't yet have digit six and we don't yet have digit eight. That's what we need in these three squares because we d we've got two, three, four, five, seven and nine. So we're looking for uh, one, six and eight. Now, when we consider the ones, we can say, hey, there's a one blocking down here and there's a one blocking up here. So neither of these squares can be a one. So we know immediately that the one has to be there. And now we're left with six and eight to go in these two squares. But when we spot this eight down here, we say, hey, 
There's no way you can be an eight friend. So you have to be the eight. And the six will be the last number that we need to complete the series of one to nine across that row. Got it? Okay, right, we're doing well, aren't we? Let's see now. We have one blocking down here, one blocking up here, and one blocking across here. That means that this is the only available slot for a digit one. We have five blocking down here, and this... This particular block down here, we're only, we only have two digits missing. The missing numbers are two and five. Now we say we've got five here, so this square can't be five. So we know that the five goes there. And then we're left with one square that we know must be a two because that's all that we can have to complete the series of one to nine. Now that two blocks up here and the two blocks across here as well. And so that is going to give us a two in that square there. Now we are missing a two from this column here. Look, there's no two. You can't see a two in this column here yet, but we have an intersecting two blocking this square. So we know the two has to fit there. And now there's only one number to complete this column. Uh, and that number is, I have no idea because I don't play these games ahead of time. That number is a four. We don't have a four. Okay, we also have four blocking up here, and that puts a four into that square. And now there's only one number to complete this column, uh, to complete this block here, and that's a seven. If you think this is too fast, please rewind, go back, check it out again, and uh, until you are satisfied and un that you fully understand what I'm doing here, I promise you it's not that difficult. Once you once the logic is in, it's like the light bulb comes on. You go, oh yeah, I get it. Right, we, are we have two digits missing across here. One of them is a six, but we see that six blocking that square there. We don't yet have a six in this row. So we know that that's the only place where the six can go. And then when we check out what we need across here, we'll find it's a seven. We don't yet have a seven. We've got everything else. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, and nine. No seven. So we know that the seven has to go there. Right, so I hope you are with me still. Um, let's see, what's missing from here? Uh, what don't we yet have? We don't yet have five or eight. Now, actually, this time, when we look up and down here, we can't find any fives or eights. So we can't say which is which for the moment. So that's it doesn't always mean because you have only two squares left that you can always find the answer. No, sometimes you have to wait and come back to it at a later time. But this column here doesn't yet have a two, but look, we have two blocking here, and we have two blocking here. So neither of these two squares can become a two, so that means that the two has to fit into that square. Now we can say the two across here, across here, and down these two columns give us a two in that square there. And uh, now there's only one block that doesn't have a two. We've got two here, 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 all of the places except for this block up here. So we'll just see what we get and we can finish off the twos. Twos are now finished. There are no more twos to be placed anywhere on the grid because we have nine of them. There are nine of every digit, nine instances of every digit in total. One block's down here, one block's across here like this. That gives me a one in that square. One block's up here, one block's up here, and one block's across like this. And that gives me a one in that square. That was the final digit one. We've got nine ones and nine twos already. So we don't need to worry ourselves about one digit one or digit two. But we haven't finished yet, of course. We've still got little bits. We've still got more to do. Now we have nine blocking across here and nine blocking across here. So this has to be a nine there. Then we've got nine blocking up there, nine blocking up there. That puts a nine into that square. Nine blocking across here, nine blocking across here, and nine up there. That will give us a nine in that square. And that was the last one. Yeah, we've got nine everywhere as well now. So it joins digit one and digit two. Now there's only one empty square in this row. We've got one, two, three, four. We don't have a five anywhere, so we know that that must be a five. Now five blocks this square here. We needed a five here. So we say that the five goes here and 
we'll continue with the fives while we're doing it. Five blocks up here like this, that will put a five into that square. Five blocks across here, five blocks up here. That gives us a five there. Five blocks across here, five goes up there. That puts the five into that square. Five down here, down here, and across here. And that will give us a final the, the final five. Now we just one number missing from this row or this block. Of course, it is the same number. There is only one logical solution to uh, Sudoku, one, one, one final solution. We know that has to be an eight. You'll see that we needed eight for this row, and you'll see that we also needed eight for this block. Uh, that you know there is only one um, possible pattern, right? Uh, okay, now we have one empty square in this column down here, and we need to fill it with a three. So let's do that. Now we say three blocking across here. That puts a three into that square there. Um, okay, now we have one empty square in this column here that has to be filled with a four. And now the last number to place here is going to be a seven seven blocks across here and seven blocks down here so that gives us a seven in that square we have seven blocking across here and seven up here that gives us a seven there the final seven actually now down here we're looking for one number to complete this row uh, that number is going to be a four four excuse me i sometimes hit the wrong key four also blocks up here and four blocks across here like that so that's the final digit four. And now in this column, we just need one number to finish. Uh, that's going to be an eight. Our eight will block across here. We have eight blocking up here. That gives us an eight in that square. Uh, and now to finish here, we are just looking for a three. So the three goes here, three blocks across here. That gives us a three in that square, three blocking across here and up here. That's the final three. And to finish this uh, row here, or this column here, or this block here, a six is the number we need to do all of those three things. We also have six blocking across here, and that gives us a six up there. Six blocks down here, and that puts the six into that square. We just need one number for this block here, or this column here. It's going to be an eight, and then an eight will finish for the row, the column, the block, and the entire grid, and that's our beginner level or easy level game for the guardian for monday every monday we have a beginner level so you can check back uh in from all of the previous easy games there are a lot of them on the channel and try some more but don't forget to try the game yourself don't just watch the videos you have to try them yourself that's it thank you very much bye bye